The provincial government of the Western Cape has over the past six to eight months been mulling over this idea of breaking away from the national ESCOM grid. The end game and many aim is to do away with load shedding in the province in the long run. We've got a plan for 5,700 megawatts in the province. This lands in municipalities. We've got, uh, you know, the big municipalities are going out to tender for 100 megawatts, 500 megawatts, 200 megawatts. They, they, they're able to do that. Um, the problem is our small towns get left behind because they don't have the capacity, they don't have the budgets, they're not able to do this. It's also a part of the province's plan to become energy resilient amidst protracted energy crisis in the country. We needed to see that uh, whatever town or whatever municipality that we were going to look at, that there would be an economic benefit. That one, we would be able to, over a period of time, um, uh, buffer the, the, the town and the municipality against load shedding. We have our own grid and that was built based on the fact that we had this power station that we were able to run. So there is a situation that we will have the main feed from Eskom. Our system will be grid tight and we have a backup line that should that fail, um, but we will not interfere with the Eskom infrastructure. Window is also eyeing the new energy generators donated to South Africa by the Chinese government, which are being received by National Electricity Minister today. We are aware that the minister is getting some generators from China. I sincerely hope that this province also gets a share of those generators. We already made uh, money available at the beginning of the year, um, just short of 90 million rand to municipalities to put initial stages of generation in for sewerage and water pumps. Um, but of course we need more. Authorities say should the Hezekwa pilot project succeed, more and more municipalities in the province will follow suit. Mlamli Maneli, SABC News, Cape Town.